Hello and welcome to UCS Library's video on how to use the Factiva news database to find newspaper articles from Australia and abroad. Factiva is an unbelievably rich resource for news. It has news from every continent of the globe and has all of the major news services uh, found within it. Just as a little aside, uh, Factiva is a database that we buy on a license by license basis. So if um, a lot of people are using Factiva at the same time, it's possible all of our licenses will be used. And at that point, you may not be able to get on until someone else logs off. Once you have logged on to Factiva, though, this is what you can expect to see. It has a search box up the top here, a date refining option underneath, and then some further refining options beneath the date that we'll show you in the course of this video. There are two things to bear in mind when using the search box here. One is to spell things correctly because it has no real ability to um, improve your spelling. So that's consideration one. Consideration two is um, to use words and or and not between words because if you don't it will think that you're writing a phrase. So if I write fencing Olympics London it's actually looking for those three words in order. And so when you do a search, you're thinking, well, I'll find every article all, all around the world about fencing and the Olympics at London. But instead you find nothing. And this is a bit of a concern. So remedy this by writing and between your various keywords. And this should give you a much better result. So I'll try again with the search. And now we have 964 results. This source option is probably the most useful refining option available in Factiva. Here you can either add a whole region's uh, newspaper publishing to your search. So if you click Australia and Oceania, you'll get all of the newspapers within this region added to your search. Or you can select individual titles from a range of different locations. So I could write um, The Guardian and choose the Guardian UK. I could write the New York Times and select that too. And I could add the Sydney Morning Herald. And choose that. And notice also that you'll get the web and the print versions in some cases. Uh, and then you can select both if you'd like to. Another thing you might want to do just to be uh, extra exacting is to change the date around so we can select the last month and we can look for different languages uh, using this option or we could change where we were looking for our search words so we could by clicking this more options button uh, change our search default search type from full article which means matching these three words anywhere in the article to matching them just in the headline or matching them just in the headline and lead paragraph. If you do a search and find you have too many results to look through, you can use these refining options on the left of screen. To read the article, all you need to do is click on the headline. And what it will tend to do is show you the article in uh, this split window here. Other options are driven by clicking the articles that appeal to you and then you can do the regular database things like email them and print them and save them. Factiva does export references to EndNote and RefWorks but the procedure is a lot more simple for RefWorks than EndNote. If you'd like to export to EndNote um, do consult our referencing guide and our EndNote pages in the UTS library website. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.